we do this workout in the fitness camp where all we do is use dynamic stabilizers. And so I thought this week with some of the information I'm sharing with you about the dynamic stabilizer, I'd take you through 10 exercises that you can do with your camp. And all you're going to need is a 13 inch dynamic stabilizer band. Probably two of them per person would be good because I think some people like to double up but other people are going to need to go single. So let me go ahead and let me start by taking you through a few double strength left exercises to really get the hips activated, trunk activated. And then what we'll do is we'll bring it down a little bit. We'll bring it down a little bit to one dynamic stabilizer so you can start increasing some speed and cardiovascular conditioning. But let's go ahead. We're going to slide two bands on. We're going to get it above our knee. We're going to lock it in there. All right. Now the key is you've got to keep your feet wide. So i got to keep my feet outside my shoulders. So the first exercise is just going to be a simple step drill. It's a real controlled drill, but what it does is it teaches you how to go ahead and always come back to balance and teaches your clients how to keep their feet wide. It also challenges the frontal plane, so it's a great exercise to get started with. Very controlled. From there, we're going to just go into some simple front squats. Now, what's this going to do? Hey, it's going to start activating the quads a little bit. All right, but it's also going to go ahead and challenge them to really learn how to engage their hips on their squat. I like to go ahead, put my hands with it, and start getting them involved with really challenging themselves to go ahead and get integrated with their upper body. From there, we're going to go back to another step drill, but now we're going to do a open step. Now, this may seem like a real simple exercise. But what the, you'll find is a lot of people can't come back to balance. I want them to come back to this position and work it. You know, we talk about athleticism a lot here. Well, you know what? This is a very athletic move that not many people can go ahead and work. So that's the next exercise we're going to do. Now, we've got to engage our trunk. So we're going to hit the floor. All right? We're going to widen out our feet. We stand up here for a second because I want to show you how to get into this. I forgot to tell you that. Widen your feet up. Now, walk it down. Keep those feet wide. Now, you can engage just here and really make them have to stabilize. Or you can do just a little mountain climber. Notice, it's not much of a step. But man, it really works on anti-rotation and working on getting that trunk involved. So there you go. Now we're walking back up. Last drill is I want to go ahead and work on some power. So what I'm going to do is start with a narrow base. I'm going to work and drop in, come back up. It's like drop squats. But you're going to work on really stabilizing. Dropping in, come back up. Stick it, back up. Stick it, back out. And stick it, back out. Let's go one more. Good. So there's five exercises that most people can do with a double dynamic stabilizer setup. Now, let's get rid of one and let's go with a little bit more speed. So now what I like to do is start with two-step lateral shuffle. So it's two steps and I want them to control it. I want them to learn how to control two steps. So it's one, two, touch, one, two, touch, one, two, touch, one, two, touch. And I want them to be able to control that. Not three, but two. Again, you'll be surprised at how people can't control two steps. So I like that exercise a lot. Now what we're going to do is high knee marching. Key here is keep those knees wide, hands here. This has got to lock in. So as I march, I don't want to see my hands moving. My hands should stay there. I'm going to bring my knees to the outside a little bit, not in. That way, the band stays tight the whole time. Nice job. Keep it up there. Burning it. Burning it. Very good. Now we're going jacks. But we're not going to worry about our upper body. We're going to work on foot quickness. So we're going jacks. Real quick. How fast can you move your feet? Most people, it's not going to be a tough exercise from a hip standpoint. But how quick can they move their feet 
and keep it moving. Tighten your trunk. Set. Nice job. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in a little bit of mountain climber circle. All right. This engages your trunk. So wide feet, drop down. Hey, we're going circles all the way around. Stick it all the way back. Feet have to stay wide. So it's kind of like doing a circle crawl, a circle mountain climber. But the nice thing about that exercise is you don't need a lot of space. Really engages your trunk, really gets your hips activated, keeps you rolling. My last one, burpee, baby. I love doing burpees and dynamic stabilizers because it teaches them how to stay very athletic. So we start here. We drop, we hit, we come back up. Now a couple things. You can have them stop here. Keep them right here. Drop down, right back up. Hands are ready to go. Stick it, be athletic, set. Or what you can do is have them come all the way up to give their quads a break. So it can look like this, all the way up. All the way up. Or finish up, put a little jump squat with it and really make it crazy. Here, jump squat, land. Here, jump squat, land. Make sure they land in a squat. Jump squat, land. So there you go. 10 exercises. Five with a double band to really engage the hips and core. Five with a single band to really bring your heart rate up. Metabolic conditioning. Now, what do you want to put it with? 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds. You choose. But the higher that number goes up, the more metabolic this is going to become. The more strength training it's going to become. Make sure technique, quality, and most importantly, hey, if you're doing any kind of dynamic stabilized work, I want to see you athletic, knees, ankles, hips bent, and you are ready to go. That's really important. Makes you athletic, makes you ready to handle anything. Have a good time with the dynamic stabilizer. Use all 10 of them or use whatever you want, but enjoy yourself.